Let's go around to the other side of the island. Oh, the sun's coming up. Good. Perfect. Keep the knife out in case there's any more of these stupid crab things. Yeah, I'm crabby. You want to know why? Because I'm stuck on an ocean planet of alien proportions eating weird-ass fish and weird-ass fish trying to also eat me. Also, I thought it'd be a good idea to go to Mexico and have sex with a hooker named Los Cabrejos. Oh, hello. Ain't that weird. Who else inhabits this planet? This, I remember the first time I saw that building and I was just like, what in the almighty fuck is that? It was the coolest thing in the world! I'm gonna explore over here though. That's just a rock. Look at it. It's so cool. Hello. What is this? <gasps> Purple artifact. I wonder what that does! Look at that. The Aurora's over there. And now we're over here. We were this close to this island the whole time. <laughs> thinking those are shale outcrops. God damn it. See now this is where the game gets interesting. Hello. The fuck? Lithium. I'll take that. Are you guys really are we really gonna do this now? Really? Eh, 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 eh. Oh go fuck yourself. Eh, the, that, I, I got I got pink cap mushroom seeds. I really don't need like ten of them, thank you. Don't hide up there like a pussy on this weird mechanical tentacle cyborg looking thing. Eh, eh, eh. There you go. Die. Where'd your buddy go? Where's your buddy? Where's your buddy? Diamond! That is a lot of lithium. Look at all this lithium! Oh my god! Also, look at that. See, we, we found something else cool. We found something else cool. Now check this out. Look at this. What is it, you may ask? Oh. Ow! We may never know. Because it is powered down currently. Oh, we can scan it. Alien Arch. Go ahead and read about that. This structure's intended purpose is unclear. Hmm? Theories on function, ceremonial or religious role, industrial applications, or advanced transportation network. Assessment, further research required. Well, shit. I have none of those things. Ion cubes. I know what they are, but I definitely do not have any. So for now, it looks like this is supposed to do something, but it is powered down and we don't have the means to power it back up again, so... Shit out of luck for us, right? I think this is the way I got up here, actually. Oh god, I cannot see anything. Oh, hello! <gasps> Another purple artifact. We're gonna scan this one. Let's see what this is! This carbon-based device is lighter than it looks and features a symbol which resembles a U lit up in purple. Despite the onboard power still functioning, algae growth on the exterior indicates it was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. While the technology is far beyond Federation levels and there is no obvious way to interface with it, it should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of the device, if necessary. Yes, you can you can craft these. I need an ion cube and two diamonds. Yikes, those are expensive to make. But you know what? When they're worth it, they're worth it. That building is just so cool. Oh, what's that? I think that's a prawn arm. No. What is that? Oh, God. Time capsule? That is definitely new. What the heck is a time capsule? Sturdy containers are designed to store written and photographic evidence for later retrieval. In addition to a number of small items, time capsules are often fabricated by marooned survivors seeking either to aid those who find themselves in the same predicament in the future, or to leave evidence of their plight which may be found long after their bodies have disintegrated. Most emergency escape vehicles are equipped with a time capsule by default, usually found in the cockpit, and be jettisoned on takeoff. Altera requests time capsules be stocked with tools and resources which will aid those who may discover them in the future. 
So I found a time capsule. This is totally new. What did I just get? I got gold. That's cool. I think I got gold. I keep thinking these are shale outcrops, but they're just rocks. They're just boring ass rocks. Okay, we're gonna go search the underwater portion of that of of the island in the middle because we still got five minutes to kill. So we're gonna do it right now. Put a nigga with some black on it. Take that out. What could have possibly made such a technologically advanced thing <laughs> for lack of a scientific phrase that I can't think of right now. <gasps> ah, you motherfucker! Mm, beware, Los Cabrejos! Yeah. Ow! I think we can access the cavern from the water, so I think I'm gonna use my sea moth, because why not? Are you dead? You are not dead. God dang it! Two, three, bitch! Aha! He didn't even hit me. He sucks! Thank you very much. Now I know there's Reaper Leviathans down here. They like to hang out by the island. I do know this. What the fuck? It's a bone shark. Okay. There's another creature here. That is one of my least favorites in the game. They're awesome. But god do they suck. That might be the entrance. Getting kind of low on time. But I'll keep an eye on it. We'll make it back to the surface in time, okay? I promise. Hello. What is all this? I think this takes us to the center of the island. Sure looks like it. What is this? Look at it, it continues under the water. See that? This is the building. Did I just hear it? Did I just hear the thing? I uh, heard something, but I don't see nothing. Which is one of the most nerve wracking things you could possibly do to me in a video game. Ow, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I was too busy looking at the thing. Okay, well. Park over here. We got two minutes, pretty much three, to kill. But I don't want to risk us getting lost underneath the ocean and not making it up here in time, so. We are gonna hang out up here. How am I doing on. Ooh, water's not doing. Oh, water's really not doing great. Oh, shit. Uh. That'll do. It's not great, but it'll have to do. I wish I had the still suit. Ugh. You know what? Fuck it. I've got a two minutes to kill. I'm gonna look up where to find the still suit in Subnautica. <laughs> oh, from data boxes. Okay, so found through life pods and shit. If we keep getting distress signals for life pods, we should find it eventually. But that just, oh god, it helps so tremendously when it comes to staying hydrated. It does. It's, it's a godsend, especially now. Oh goodness, it's nighttime. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, it's dark. I looked away for two seconds and it's dark. Just, I love the water. Look at it. Wait, what just happened? Why did it get so dark and so... Wait, was it an eclipse? I, I, I think it was an eclipse. There's eclipses in this game. It's over there, I think. It was blocked by clouds. You couldn't see it. But yeah, this game you it definitely has eclipses. And it's really cool. 30 seconds. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, we and we're descending to towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? It's not just a building. 
That's new moon. Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters to full. First time I saw that building move and it shifted to a giant gun, I was immediately just like, oh fuck no, like, it was the worst. And just sitting down here knowing there was nothing you could do. So sad. But, now we know what shot down the Aurora. It was that thing. Oh, it wasn't an eclipse, it just switched to daytime for the <laughs> for the cutscene, okay, so it's supposed to be nighttime. Interesting. Okay, well. Rescue is no longer coming. Actually, I feel like this is something I probably should have done earlier, is turn off the lights on my Seamoth, because I don't know if it's wasting power. Oh god, there we go. And back out. Well... I think our first order of business, after this thing has struck down two ships in a matter of weeks, is we gotta take this thing out so it doesn't shoot anybody down anymore. Purple tablet fragment, we already got that. In fact, we've got two of them and three guesses what we need to get inside the alien building. I'm running low on water, so I'm gonna have to make this quick. Force field control terminal. This device matches no known technologies and is likely aliened in nature. What gave that away? Power is being routed via the terminal to the nearby force field. The technology is far beyond anything encountered before by the Federation. Nonetheless, there is a good chance it functions like a regular lock and only requires the correct kind of key. Well, good thing I got one. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Check this place out. The first time I found one of these things, I was just like, immediately take- I loved the game before. Before I knew any of this alien stuff existed. And this is the moment, like, I loved the game already. But by the time I saw this, I was just like, this is fucking awesome. Ancient technologies. I'm gonna put that away. What's this? Data terminal. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Seek fluid intake? Is that what it's telling me? <laughs> no, it's not. Discovered inside an alien facility. Seek fluid intake. I got it, thank you. It was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It is likely a solid-state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low-frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which de designed this technology evolved, or genetically selected, sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Further research required. The plot has just thickened immensely, hasn't it? Something else is occupying this planet. This is an ion cube! Yay! Put that in the the, the, the the weird arch thing that we found uh, somewhere else on the island. Look at this. It all just looks so weird. 
suppose I could probably scan you, right? Yeah, read about this. No entry in the periodic table and an unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within it. Equivalent ionic energy of five kilotons of TNT in this one cube. That's how powerful this thing is that I'm holding in my hands. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, maybe I should not touch this. Nope, I'm going to carry it around in my pocket. <laughs> Likely used as batteries, but re would require a substantial power source to be recharged. I'm going to die down here of <laughs> dehydration, but I don't want to leave yet. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Enforcement platform schematic. Mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. There's no indication it can be d damaged or destroyed by any available means. It's too strong. The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or installed security measures. It does have a control panel. We gotta find it and take this thing out right now. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Seek fluid intake immediately. Yeah, no, but I'm good, thanks. I'll dehydrate down here. woo hoo 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 Man, what if elevators were actually like this in real life? That would be awesome. Please tell me this is a purple artifact terminal. Force field control. Wait, why? There, you, that terminal used to be active. The moon pool is available? Why the fuck didn't you tell me? Okay, you know what? I should probably cut my losses and try and not die. So I'm just gonna... The moon pool is accessible. Passing 100 meters. Oh god. Oxygen efficiency. Oh equipped. god. Oh god. Oh god. I'm terrified. Oh god. Oh god. Go god, god god god. It's quicker to just go around and get back to the seamoth and then go and find something to drink. And then I'm gonna go find some bladder fish. I'm gonna restore all my vital signs. And I'll be still alive and I'll walk alone. But... Also, so I don't die, we're going to come back to this place and we're going to explore the rest of the facility once I'm going to not die of dehydration. So does that sound like a plan? Good. Because that's what we're going to do. Come on now. Seek fluid intake. I'm going to do my damnedest, you know, lady? Okay, 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 okay. I got one. I'm just going to have to satiate myself. Come back and look for more. Where is that life pod? There it is. Don't have time to look for more bladder fish. I'm just gonna... Ooh. Ow. Oh god, it takes my health down really, really far. Oh no, not that. Water? Ooh. Come on, man. Oh god. That was close. Seek fluid intake. Playing partially translated broadcast. <laughs> Subjects designated mode hunting, analyzing, sharing subject locations with other agents. Oh, uh, how about you don't do that? I'm not comfortable with you guys knowing where I am. I'm not a hundred percent sure what that was, but I'm relatively certain I know what that was. And again, back to what I was talking about with one of my least favorite enemies in the game. They're awesome, they're cool, they're creepy, they're scary, but they're also annoying as fuck. The Sunbeam messages had a voice. Avery Quinn had a voice. So I knew those, because I'd heard those before. All of the other messages you get through that communications relay had no sound, no voices. It was all just the subtitles in the bottom of the screen that you read. And I remember reading that and going, the fuck is that? Like, I had no idea. But now they have a voice, and they're infinitely more creepy as fuck than they already were. Sprint is L3. There. Did that- did that work? Or am I just- I think I'm just sprinting all the time now. You know what? I'll take it! <laughs> it wasn't the end result I was expecting, but I will- Aw, oh, damn it. I will absolutely take it. Spec 
called Rattler Spore, PCAP Spore. Do I really even need these things? Fuck hell, get rid of them. Oh, why can't I drop them? I'll do that then. That works. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just sprinting infinitely now. I'll take it. That is awesome. I didn't even know that was possible, but here we are. What the? It's a goddamn destiny ghost. What the heck is this doing down here? It's literally a destiny ghost. Are you voiced by Nolan North, sir? Perhaps Peter Dinklage? I didn't open the thing because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was too busy making a joke. Doomsday device. Oh god, is that what that is? Enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. Oh! Well, this mystery was almost over before it even began. That was that definitely did not used to be there. I remember these things. I remember these these display tube things, but nothing was ever in them. And I think the P you could scan them and the PDA say like these used to be displays for things, but whatever's in it is gone. Scans in the facilities control room lies beyond this doorway. Going in, bitches. This enforcement platform, as it is known, is not going to take any other ships down. Never again. We were that God. That was a stroke of luck that somebody was even within a two weeks range from us to save us, and they got here and. Stab me in the wrist, please! Ow! What did I just say? The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Well, our day just got a lot fucking shittier, didn't it? You guys want to know why I didn't do the self-scan early? Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to databank. Self scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Mm. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. As if crash landing on an alien ocean planet wasn't bad enough, it was a quarantined alien ocean planet, and for whatever reason they quarantined the planet in the first place has now infected us. And that gun thing was a way of making sure whatever enters the atmosphere of this planet never leaves. So there's obviously something real shitty going on in this planet and now it's in my body. Fuck me. <laughs> All right, we got a couple of data downloads to read. Uh, I guess we'll just read this one. Oh, except I can't. How do you expect me to read that with that in the background? Okay, hold on. There we go. This device houses energy equivalent to a hundred... Uh, millitons. Don't know what that is. Nuclear detonation, which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead, or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Power is routed via the attached terminal, allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary, it is currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. Like the Aurora. Or the Sunbeam. Indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate, self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. This is definitely not the only structure of its kind on this planet, and we gotta find it. Because the gun is still active! So even if rescue is no longer coming, we cannot leave this planet with this thing activated because we are infected. So not only do we need to disable the gun, in order to disable the gun, we need to freaking cure ourselves of whatever the fuck has infected us. Yeah, this got a whole lot more complicated, as if it needed to get more complicated. Maybe, you know what, before we stop, maybe there's one more thing I want to do, just while I'm here in the vicinity. 
Uh, I have a feeling I know where it's gonna take us. But... Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. I really hope that warper isn't out here waiting for me. You know what? Just in case he is, I'm gonna go ahead and save my game. <laughs> Oh god, he is definitely here. Oh god, where is he? Oh Jesus. What the fuck? Yeah, that's why they're called warpers. Fuck off! Oh god, he might be coming towards me. Oh shit. Okay, but again, while we're in the vicinity, you know what? Maybe I don't want to do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it, because I'm not sure if putting the ion cube thing I have in my inventory, I'm not sure if putting that into the thing at the top of this island is gonna do what I think it's uh, gonna do, and just in case it doesn't, I don't want to get batted, and I'm trying to remain vague so I don't give away what it is. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so maybe uh, once we figure out uh, more about it and are a little more prepared, as in ha actually having food on my person, which I do not. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. But for now, I'm going to head back to my base. And I'm going to get to work on moving my base from one grassy plateau to the other. And yeah. So I'm going to do some more grinding. I'm going to find some more stuff. Uh, I will not venture into any more biomes or do any of the story-related stuff off camera, of course. I wouldn't dare do that. I have no idea how many episodes I've just recorded today, but I've recorded five hours worth of content. And there is no- we, we're, we're just getting started. You scared the fucking shit out of me because I thought you were more friend. But we are just getting started. We are nowhere near finished with this game. And I cannot wait to show you the rest. And I can't wait to see how this ends. Because I have no idea how it ends. I stopped playing the game a year and a half ago, give or take, before this game even had an ending. Now it has an ending, and I have no idea what it is. So I think our goal for the next part is going to be uh, to establish a moon pool. I'm gonna find the fragments for it first, so maybe not. But... We gotta, uh, I'm gonna figure out how to get the frickin' swim charge fins, because apparently that's a thing I can't figure out. We're gonna, I'm gonna find an egg for a cuttlefish, and we're gonna hatch it, and we're gonna be best friends with it, and it's gonna be amazing. And, yeah. We've got a lot left to do in this game, guys. I need to make another storage thing. Holy mother of god. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Everything's fine, I got it. I, I'll do that. I will eat my last nutrient block because I need it desperately. Vital signs. Could probably also heal myself. Yep. Okay. We're good to go. We're okay on health. We're okay on food. We're okay on water. We have discovered we are in big fucking trouble on this planet, even more than we already were. And uh, we've got a lot of work to do. A lot of exploring. A lot of adventuring. A lot of shitting our pants. And actually, quite literally, pissing our pants. Uh, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> so I hope you guys are enjoying Subnautica as much as I am. I fucking love this game so much, and I'm so happy to finally be playing it for you. Like and favorite if you're enjoying, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you the next time I have a six-hour-long binge of this game. Farewell, friends.